As I look out over this assembled crowd, um, as we started talking about this, we were reminded of similar gatherings that actually happened very close to here. Um, a, a small group of concerned citizens got together, they discussed the matters of the day, um, their concerns you know, about how to you know, facilitate change. Um, they wanted to develop solutions that were for the betterment of the people. And when they walked away from those meetings, they walked away with the Declaration of Independence. Okay, that's not too far from here, I highly recommend the tour. Um, we should all aspire to those great words that Jefferson and Adams wrote, but, you know, words will escape me. Um, my name is Joe Schwartz, and I'm a trustee of the Design Ed Coalition, and we helped put this all together for you this weekend. And, you know, this is the, um, a milestone, as Stephen Heller put it when I was talking to him before. It's a milestone. Um, this started in a small cafe uh, about two years ago uh, with Marty Riala, okay, sitting right here, uh, Christian Fleming and myself, and we started talking about design education. And... We knew that this discourse was needed and that it was a long time coming. Um, but it was also thought about way before we started talking about it, as most of you know. Um, we knew that we couldn't do it alone, and so Robin Van de Zand, okay, was brought into the fold, and the four of us started talking about what needed to happen. We started talking about, we started having conversations, we started asking questions. We started talking to all of you, and four people with a similar quest decided to do something about it. And that, um, that action has led us to here, has led us to this weekend. I want you to welcome you guys to the first of its kind ever conference on pre-K through 12 design education. Our goal, okay, is to turn this group that we've started into a much larger group. To turn the original idea of, you know, between Mar Marty and Christian and Robin and myself, to turn four people into 90 people. And that's a done deal. Okay, you guys are here, you're proof of it. Um, we want to turn this night group of 90 into 900 and we want to turn that 900 into 9,000. Okay, we think the time has come, we think the time is right, we've been talking about this for a few years, and you guys have proved positive that this can actually happen. So what you're gonna bear witness to this weekend are a pretty wide variety of um, educational solutions uh, that revolve around a common theme, and that theme is using design as an educational tool, both to teach other subjects, okay, English, math, sciences, okay, but also why teaching design in a pre-K through 12 system is so important. So we're going to be talking about all of those things. As I said, it's a pretty wide variety uh, to, uh, to give to you this weekend. And once we've concluded these sessions, today and tomorrow, we're going to turn the conference over to you. Okay, so tomorrow afternoon will be the unconference, so that you can take all of the information that you've gathered from the, this day and a half and talk about the things that are important to you. Because we're going to ask you guys to spread the message. We're going to ask for you to advocate and evangelize um, what you heard about this weekend and spread the word. Because that's the only way that this works. So it's our hope that you walk away with a newfound sense of um, that you're, you've got this energy, that your time here um, you know, is the beginning of a new movement. Um, and when you return to school in September, we're going to give you the summer to bake and think about you know, what you learned here. And when you return to school in September, um, it'll be with a renewed sense of determination. Uh, 
um, we need to transform our educational system. And just like the British before that, okay, the founding fathers realized that, that the way to facilitate change is not from the top down, okay, it's from the bottom up. Okay, and you guys, teachers, administrators, policy makers, um, you're gonna start the revolution for us. So the revolution's gonna come from all of you guys.